class example two. So you had two minutes to read. Cars Limited makes use of a highly technical computer information system. So now I make the note here automatically. Cats. And risk at the financial statement level because of the computer information system. For initiating, processing, and recording of all accounting related information. Required. Develop test of controls and substantive audit procedures. So substantive audit procedures are automatically right. General procedures, analytical procedures, test of detail. To test the recoverability of trade debtors at 31 March 2021. The recoverability is all about the valuation of your trade receivables. So you are having to look at the allowance for credit losses. Credit limits and 60-day credit terms are set for all debtors. So here you've got a limit control and a term control for all debtors. I need to develop test of controls, so some order procedures being tests and then others being substantive procedures. I know I can use CAT. So for the test of controls, guys, the easy ones are identify the controls and test them. I've got two controls. There's a limit control. Because I can use CAT to test the limit control, I'm going to attempt to order for a data in excess of the limit. and it should be rejected. That is test data. And the term attempt to order for a data who has a balance in excess of 60 days and I should be rejected. You shouldn't be able to go and order if you are already sitting with a balance in excess of those days. Those are the only two controls I can test because they're the only two controls that are in the scenario. Okay, I cannot go and create new controls to test because they haven't mentioned them. It's different with substantive procedures. I can go and test however I like when it comes to substantive procedures, with test of controls, I can only test the controls that they have. So that's done. And I need four marks to test substantively for the recoverability of the allowance. And I want to use CATS as far as possible. So what could I do to test using some of those specific CATS example procedures? They have got limit controls. So I can now test of detail, get exception reports for where data has exceeded his credit limit and where he's exceeded his credit terms. Because that will help me to prove that there could be a concern with the recoverability of that debtor. He's not settling a balance that's long overdue. He's exceeded the term that was set for him that we believed he would be able to pay. So that helps me to consider there could be a concern around the recoverability of that. Okay, other than that, I can actually use CATS. To test the aging of debtors in the age analysis, I can use CATS to recalculate the allowance for credit losses. My non-CAT related procedures, because there is an estimate here, I would still normally do. Go and find out what the accounting policy is. Test whether it's reasonable. 
by comparing it to the market. Test whether it's consistent by comparing to the prior year. Go and test the aging. You can go and select a sample using cats of debtors in different aging categories. Okay, here I'm just putting down some specific procedures that cats can actually do. So if we look at the solution, there are your two tests of controls, test data, and then your exception reports. Follow up on any issues with those. Test the aging, select a sample of data from each aging category and then trace it to the invoice. Recalculate. Compare the actual write-off in the prior year to the allowance in the current year to see if it's reasonable. Guys, using CATS because the information is in the system. And then they've done some subsequent receipts using CATS. You select your receipts from the bank statement post year in, trace it back to the remittance to see if the invoice was raised by year end and therefore they are settling. Okay, so I've just gone, pulled out procedures using or the procedures under my valuation assertion, incorporated the use of CATS and added a few other CATS-specific procedures. So, what is the exam technique going forward now? What are you auditing? A transaction, class of transaction or count balance? It doesn't change. First find out what you're doing. Now when it comes to general procedures, if they have a computer information system, I now have to state, using CATS, agree the closing to the financials. Using CATS, agree the opening if it's account balance. Using CATS, do your scanning and your casting. Consider the effectiveness of the controls. That doesn't change. That's going to be a manual procedure. Obtaining a management rep letter, a manual procedure. I still need to put them down even if they have a computer information system because I still need to perform my manual procedures. Using CATS, do my analyticals. Okay, and then what are the IFRS requirements? What are the risks? Link your risks to your assertions and where possible now, use CATS for those examples of procedures that we have for each assertion. And if there's any additional international standard on auditing that can help you with substantive procedures, you go to that and you add those procedures down. All right, guys. It's been a long lecture, a lot of information. When you compare that you've got two full lectures over two weeks dedicated to substantive procedures. So take some time to make sure that you really are comfortable with your exam technique here and applying it so that next week when we look at actually doing questions you can and you know where to start. So what are some of the questions you can expect? So the required will say formulate substantive procedures for and then it will be the specific transaction or class of transaction or account balance and then you apply the exam technique that we've got there follow through with all the options that you have available to assist you with substantive procedures. Then looking at related parties for today, so you could be asked substantive procedures to identify related parties and then to audit the related parties. Separate procedures here. One is to try and pick up if there are any missing And the other is to audit, so all the assertions become appropriate now when you're auditing that related party transaction or balance. And then formulate audit procedures using CATS. However, they don't normally tell you to use CATS. It is assumed that you know that when they have a computer information system and you have to do substantive procedures, that if you are able to use CATS, you should include those as your procedures. Alright, super guys.